Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. This is Josh. Hi. And today we have the Ardu Pilot. 2.5. 2.5. Today's a big deal. Yeah, it's like a robot that you put on your aircraft and you just don't do anything. It just, you, you tell it what to do and it does it for you. You sit back and you watch. We're getting replaced, folks. You know, pretty soon these things are gonna be flying on themselves, but you know what, it's so much fun to build a quadcopter and have the features of stability, uh, return to launch, um, safety features. Cause you know, although this is a $3 frame, we have a lot of money in this thing. Right. We don't want to lose it. That's right. We want to have the best opportunity to bring this back home as safely as possible. And for you guys out there that are just getting into quadcopters and, and tricopters and even for that matter, this works on airplanes too. Mm -hmm. You, you want to have the security you know on this thing, it's at a flip of a switch will stabilize right. and then help you out. And that's what the RD Pilot 2.5 does for you. You go into oh crap mode and it comes back home. You know what, they should call it oh crap mode because I think that's when you'll probably be flipping some of the switches. You'll be flipping more than that. <laughs> well, why don't we talk about what's in it? Okay. What do we got? Uh, we have a magnum, ma mag, mag, no. magnetometer. Mag what, what the heck is that? It's a magnetic compass. Oh, okay, cool. Integrated. And we have an accelerometer. Accelerometer, a barometer. And the barometer helps with altitude. And then we also have a really nice GPS. This is an upgraded GPS. You can get it with the standard one, or you can upgrade it. Um, I really don't know what it does, but it does seem to lock onto the satellites really quick and have a really solid Global connection. positioning. Global system. positioning That's system. what it does. That's exactly what it does. So, we got that, and you know what? Why don't we take a look at this? All this is integrated except for the GPS, but there's a little cotton ball there. You want to talk about that? You want to guess what the cotton ball's for? Does it come like that? No, it does not come like that. But it is an important note. Um, if you do not have this covered on your system, when you fly it on a windy day, like, you know, it's always windy this part of the year in yes, Ohio, the barometer will spaz out on you. And mm -hmm. that's normal for all barometers, it's not a problem. But what you need to do is make sure if it's out in the open, that you cover it with a little piece of gauze because sunlight and wind, from what they say in the notes, will affect your barometer. Okay. So, so you don't have any wild pitch changes and everything. Go ahead and take a little piece of gauze and a little piece of tape over it and uh, cover it up. It's it's not a boo-boo. It's not like it got nicked when it was shaving or anything. Why would it have been shaving? I know, that's just crazy. Our new Pilot 2.5 boards don't shave. Why don't we go ahead and hook this up to the computer real okay. quick? Okay, yeah. And, and we can set up like where we want it to go and all that stuff. Yeah, well, we're going to send this thing through the drive through at Arby's and pick us all up. We're, some we're not going to send it through the drive through of Arby's. That's why, that's why they call it the Arby's Pilot. We'll save the mission for later. Because, you know, when you get into uh, flying, especially flying quadcopters, FPV, um, what was that one feature I talked about that's really important? Return to... Oz. Return to launch is what you want, okay? You're flying FPV. Come back to where you were when you started, right? Exactly, exactly. Yes. It's, it's coming right back to where the plane was launched off of. Say you're flying and you know you bought one. You get crazy. You have an antenna that's been mangled like my antennas because you I crashed a lot. You start flipping switches yeah. and other things. Next thing you know, your video's gone. You want your video, right? Because mm -hmm. you can't fly home without your video. Right. Well, the nice thing about this is you simply can go to return to launch and the thing will autonomously come back to the launch point. That's what we're gonna set up right now. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is I use, this is all open system architecture. So the software is free, the updates are free, everything is free and constantly being improved. So along with it being very user friendly, it's only ever getting better. Cool. And the best thing is it's free. They are we in free. Africa right now? We're not in Africa right now, but what we did do is we connect our USB to the uh, main board here. And oh, it's finding us. It's finding us right now. It's just getting the parameters. There Look we at go. That. That's Chad Capper's house. There it is. There's his, his old dirt track. Board. Yeah, you can actually, I think, go Google, Yahoo. You can select your map that you want. But right now, it's it's an old version of Chad's. But yeah, we're literally, that's freakishly accurate. We are right there. Look at that. And those three lines are the satellites going in there. But Now, what if I pick it up? You got an artificial horizon. Nice. Too. Isn't that cool? See how I adjust that? And the neat thing about this Ardu Pilot, right. you can add tons of different sensors in there. There's advanced, um, I think, a sonar sensor, optical flow sensors, um, all that you can add onto this. So you can constantly build it up, make it better and better, and, and more integrated, more autonomous as you go. It's fully expandable. Nice. So you can start as a base model, grow as you want for whatever kind of missions you want to do. Very cool. But right now, I don't want it. Right now, my three modes I have in it are actually, uh, go down into here. There we go. Now you can see here, it gives you real time input so right. it's actually tapping into my receiver it knows what i'm doing i'm going to go into flight modes and do you see that little switch my flap switch here yep go ahead and flip it all the way down now you see it's in circle mode right now yes i don't want it in circle you mode. you don't want that that's the one i want to return to launch okay so i'm simply going to go down here go so to you, rt so you're setting each switch for what you want it to the do. the position i want it to be in just okay. like that now if you go to the middle one flick it up on switch uh -huh. that's position hold mode or loiter mode uh -huh. and then all the way at the top where it's actually set the default that's stabilize mode. Now, a quick note for you guys, always set up your, your uh, quadcopter in stabilize mode. Don't go into acro, which is like old school. Stabilize mode will give you, when you take your hands off the sticks, auto level, and it won't really stop, but it'll take it out of danger zone. Okay. So always go in stable mode, always have that as a default. Take it out of danger zone. 
That was beautiful. Who is that? Kenny, what's his name? I don't know. Logan. Kenny Loggins. All right, so we got to return to launch. So our three positions are stabilized, loiter, which will just keep it in one position. And the final one is the panic mode. If I lose video or something, return the to crap launch. mode. The oh crap mode. Maybe we can talk to them and have them change it because I like oh crap mode better. All right, we're going to save our modes right there. It's complete. We're going to disconnect. All right, so what's next after this? Stop talking about boring things and go fly. Yes. Okay. All right, let's go. You need a computer? Nope. All right, so as you can see, it's a windy day in Ohio. Yeah, but it's nice. It is beautiful. And this is a good chance to see, this is stock setup. No PIDs have been adjusted, uh, but right now everything is purely stock. All right, so this wind will be a good test to see how well it loiters, how well it returns to home, basically how well it flies in heavy right. wind, okay? Let's do it. All right, you wanna turn this on here? Yeah. Now, important thing to note, whenever you do return to launch, the GPS lock is gonna be where you activate or arm your motors. So I'm gonna try to move it a little bit away from where we are right now. Okay. So you don't want it to land on your head. That would be awkward, wouldn't it? Yeah, Now one but thing funny. also you wanna do is you wanna make sure you have a good solid GPS lock. And according to the instructions, you want a solid blue LED on your control board and your GPS. So make sure you have a solid blue because- Did you check? Well, it'll take a minute. It takes about 30 seconds. Are you minute. gonna check after that? I will check after that. So before you fly though, you don't want to go lift it off and fly because it'll fly normal, it'll alarm, unless you set the parameters where it doesn't arm until it has a GPS because you do have that ability. Okay. Uh, but make sure you have those things locked in really well. And one reason why I have loiter from stabilized mode is if loiter works most likely because that uses GPS, the other one will work for you as well. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and see if it, uh, if it works here. Yes, he's going to go check that out. It doesn't take two people to see if there's a blue light oh, on but apparently it takes him a few seconds to figure it out. You need help? No, we're good. So how are you? Good? It's good. It's blue! Okay. Okay. We're actually, let's make sure it takes off and hovers. Not bad at all. Now, nice thing about this is you have set angles. You can push that stick full forward, it'll only go to a certain angle. You can change those parameters too. You can see in the wind though, it's not doing too bad. The gyros are working. Gyros are working, especially in windy weather like this. Now I'm gonna put this down, put the goggles on, and go fly some SPV. What do you say? Okay. Wow, that is a crazy wind. Look at that. Actually, you know what's a good opportunity? Let's check out Loiter right now. Okay point towards us and I want to put it into the wind now keep in mind with loiter mode you actually have to make sure that it'll wander back let's go right there now it won't land in loiter mode will it no it will not land in loiter mode it keeps the throttle and then what it's gonna do it's gonna wander around and slowly make improvements over time but you can see it's actually doing a better job staying at one point than I am. Tell them what it does if you try to land it in motor mode. It bounces. How do you know that? I tried it. I wanted to see if they're telling the truth. Basically, it goes down with the motors running, it hits the ground, goes doing, doing, doing. But you can see it's doing a pretty impressive, isn't that like a wrap thing? Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't know. Okay, you can see it's doing a pretty impressive job. It's constantly trying to find that home position and as the gusts of winds change, so does that. But Put your hands off. Yeah, it's totally hands off. Not too Look, bad. I'm flying it. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll put my goggles on now. Just make sure I don't... This seems dangerous. It would We're be dangerous. Machines. We are trusting the RD Pilot 2.5 system, aren't we? Skynet's taking over. There we go. Nice thing also about loiter mode too. Man, you, you look can, so cool. You like that? Yeah. You can actually change your position with loiter mode and when you take your hands back to center, it locks in at that position too. So okay. you can still fly it around and full throttle will give you a certain rate of climb. Uh huh. There's just a really wide dead band, and then lowering the throttle will give you a certain rate of descent. It will not land though, as we talked about earlier. There you go, I'm, I'm chopped throttle and you can see it's going down slowly. Yeah. All right, so what I wanna do now is, let's go ahead and switch out and make sure you get it back roughly into the center when you go back into your... The sticks in the center? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, because okay. otherwise it'll do that. It'll, it'll go crazy. If you're sitting yeah. at full throttle and you go out of loiter mode, you're in trouble. So we're flying all happy. It's very easy to fly. Once again, if you get in trouble, take your hands off the sticks, it'll automatically level. But it will not stop right where it's at unless you're in loiter mode or some other mode like that. Can you switch it? Can you switch back to loiter mode and it'll come back? You sure can. That's great. All right, now we're over the uh, dirt track. 
flying great. I can match totally watch out forward. Watch for tower. I'll definitely watch out for that evil tower. You can match totally forward on the sticks, but it'll only give you a certain angle, and it's totally adjustable. But say, God forbid, I went ahead and lost my signal right now. I oh, can go it's going and, crazy. I'm going to go ahead and return to mode. Mayday. It's going to actually... <laughs> it's gonna climb up to the predestined height that I programmed it to and then it's gonna book it back home So Lord Ra willing right now, it's gonna be fighting that wind and coming back home to us and I think that's what it's doing right now from I don't think the Lord like. has anything to do with it <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I guess it's an act of faith because my hands aren't touching it right now Okay, and I really want to take control But it seems like it's doing a really great job it's, as we it's speak. right back home Is it right over us right back just no. like a robot it's, flying it, a plane once it gets back over to us It's gonna sit there for a couple seconds until it hits a certain amount of time then it's gonna start slowly descending. Now I have my. Uh, it's right over top of us. I don't want it, it to descend right now. I can't see it. I can only see where we are. Uh -huh. But it should start actually lowering down now as we speak. Well, I'm kind of scared about that. I'm a little scared too. Oh yeah, here it comes. Is it going down? Yeah, no. it's coming down right above us. Above us? Yeah. How close is it to? Uh, I'm serious. It's right over top of us. Oh, is it? Okay, it's moving away. Okay, there we go. Well, I have it set to uh, two meters. Yeah, I'm gonna take control and put it back in the loiter mode. Now we know it works. But that works pretty darn well. Now, yeah. if you want to land, you just set it to zero. The neat thing about the setup on this is it gives you a description of what each mode is. And then after each mode, it gives you a uh, notes that you may want to need to know. I'm going to take this over by uh, our neighbor's house here. And I'm just going to do it one last time and drop the altitude to show you how you can also set the parameters to actually physically make it climb a little bit before it comes there. All right, back into return to home mode. And as you can see, it's going to slowly climb. Mm -hmm. There it goes. See that? Yeah, I see it. It's going to go up. I have 10 meters right now, so roughly 30 feet. Okay. And Lord willing. Or machines. It'll start coming home. Is it coming home? Yep. Pretty fast, too, from what it feels like. It's like a little droid. It makes it's me like, want. It's like R2. Yeah, it's working good. It's probably what if I, I did this. R2 pilot. Ah! <laughs> oh. oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, I guess we can put the FPV away. It's doing a really good job. Yeah, here it now, comes. Now, just the Ardu Pilot 2.5 system for this feature alone is worth every penny because I don't want to lose my GoPro. There we go. And as you can see, it doesn't do a 180 and head nose in back to you. I'm putting it back in loiter mode. And we're good to go there. Now, Josh, this is really easy, bro. Do you want to give it a shot? Y yeah. Now, nice thing is in loiter mode, you can push it around like a car. The altitude's going to take care of itself unless you go to the extreme max or the extreme min. Hey. It, yeah. I'm doing it. You're doing it? I've never flown a multi-rotor before. He's never flown. Maybe the MQX just a little bit, right? But this is a perfect way for you to learn actually how to fly a multi-rotor. So the nice thing about this, Josh, is when you're flying around, the, the altitude's going to take care of itself. As long as you don't go extreme min or extreme maximum on your throttle, it'll stay roughly at that altitude. So get yourself a good 30 feet high. That way, any variations dipping up and down will physically give you the ability. So as okay. long as you get yourself high enough, you're good to go. And you can just drive that sucker around all day long. And theoretically, it shouldn't crash on you. There we go. Beautiful. Gives you an opportunity to learn, huh? Yeah. How's it feel? Good. Pretty simple, huh? Yeah, it's very simple. It's, it's... probably comparable to the Parrot drone a little bit. Yeah, no, it is. So just keep in mind, when you get far away, orientation is an issue. And if you ever have to fix that, we'll just put it in return to launch mode. Right. This is a good opportunity for people that have never flown something before to have success on their terms. They, they, they don't have to worry because if you take your hands off, it'll automatically fix itself. Thanks. Just like that. Perfect. Well, I want to thank you guys for watching. Josh is going to keep flying here, but I want to challenge you guys to definitely take a look at the RD Pilot 2.5 uh, as you uh, go into quadcopters, FPV. It's a great insurance thing. Also, it's a great learning tool too. And all the cool function that even goes into camera gimbals. I can't say enough about how many functions this has. Thank Chris Anderson. Oh yeah, Chris Anderson, we love you. Thank you for sending this. He's from DIY Drones, but you guys apparently called DIY Drones. Chris Anderson got right on the ball, got one of these in our hands. And my only apology is that it took about a month or so to get it on the show because we wanted to get it on immediately, but we really wanted to get a good thorough knowledge. And we really found out quickly that it's very user friendly. You just got to know where to start. So DIY Drones, thank you for the great uh, free updatable open system architectural extendable extendable. You're really doing good. Up words. Yeah, you guys rock. We love you. Do you want to say anything, Josh? Bye. Josh says bye. He's having too much flying. We'll see you next time.